What's up, Blue Collar Scholars? Coffee is a journey, okay? This is something that I've uh, coming to realize on my own, maybe in the last couple of months, just interacting with different people, watching them go through the process, reflecting back on my process. My coffee was a journey too. Like I'm, I'm in a cool spot right now where I feel comfortable brewing and talking to people and I'm in a, I'm in a really good spot. And, but I haven't always been in this spot. And that's something that it's very easy for us to forget is, is where we came from, okay? So I started off drinking office coffee into a crappy brewer, um, terrible coffee all the way through, right? And then we started figuring out, hey, let's do these different things, right? And then we started testing the coffee. We did different coffee and then we started doing different water. My, I had a buddy who had a, as, he's as much of a nerd as me and he had a TDS meter. So we were like testing the TDS of the water to see, you know, when they clean the filters, did that affect our coffee? And and then we started grinding it ourselves, and then brewing it ourselves, and then changing the time. Oh, we brewed it in five minutes. Oh, we brewed it in two minutes. Oh, and then it was this really long journey. How long? Like five years before I really got into this, okay? And got into it like this. So it's unfair for us to expect you who maybe just started it. You're all, we're all in different places in life, okay? And so it's really, really unfair to expect somebody at the beginning of their coffee journey to do the exact same things, have the same knowledge, the same practices as somebody who's been doing it for 10 years, right? It's not fair, but it's something that we do and it's because we forget where we came from. Uh, I think that's a human trait, to be honest with you. We do it all the time. I see it in my office that people get promoted to like one step up and then they can't be bothered with common folk. That's kind of what the coffee world's like too. Once they get to that craft coffee, they're like, mm, I can't be bothered with common folk. That sucks. And it makes us feel bad. And so then we don't go into the journey. So like I struggled a long, long time because people treated me like crap uh, when I wanted to learn. Uh, wrote a blog post a long, long time ago about knit caps. Uh, you know, like the little beanies that's knit and it's kind of like off to the back and off to the side. Um, it's like it weights their head so that their nose comes up at you properly. And so there's this nice balance of snobbery and hippie knit cap. Uh, it seemed like I, I joke about it. I don't actually care about knit caps. If your head's cold, put a cap on, right? But every single barista that treated me like garbage, like I was an idiot and dumb and bothering them, were always wearing those knit caps. And so I just joked about, about it for a long time there. Uh, but really, it's a journey, okay? And so if you're starting craft coffee, start with good coffee. Experiment with different coffees, find out things that you like. That's easy, it doesn't take any change in equipment, any change in water, nothing. Just buy a different bag of coffee and try it. Do you like it? Do you like beans from Peru? Ooh, exotic, right? Do you like beans from Kenya? Elephants. Uh, try these different coffees and, and see how it goes. Then, you know, try some easier brewing methods, right? So for example, French press. See what it's like. This, co this metal filter right there is completely different than the paper filter that you uh, use with your brewer. Okay, it's gonna bring in more oils. It's gonna have a different mouth feel. So then you can try something easy like that. And a lot of restaurants have a French press. It's pretty easy to get one. Like you can go to a lot of places. A lot of places serve them as it's, it's the fancy thing, right? Because a French press carries its own sort of weight to it, right? And then just keep trying different things. But one thing, there are differences. And this is an example I'll give you really quick there's a point at which then you gotta start working on skill. And these two brewers are an example of that. So the beginning half of the journey is the fruit at the bottom of the tree, right? The easy pickings, changing your coffees, changing your water, like using filtered water versus tap water. Um, getting a different brewer, you know, like when your brewer breaks, upgrading to a newer one, 
things like that. But then eventually you're gonna have to start working on the skills, right? So understanding time, temperature, grind size, all of these things, and then your coffee's just gonna keep getting better. Now, that's not for everybody, right? Some of us might be good right here in just enjoying good coffee at home and that it's better, and that's all that was worth it. If you wanna le keep leveling up and going and going and going, then you gotta start worrying about that stuff. And if you're gonna do that, then one, again, it's still a journey. Don't go to the expert brewer. Start with an easier brewer, okay? One that is very forgiving. Because when you're learning about time, temperature, grind size, all of these different things, it's really hard when you're using a brewer that is not forgiving at all, okay? But if your brewer is a little forgiving, has a little smaller hole there, uh, basic cone filter, nice good ridges in there, that's going to allow you to focus on the variables that you're changing, right? So you're changing on time. How long can I brew it? You're changing grind size. How does that affect it? Changing the temperature of my water, whatever. Um, that's gonna all affect it. Then what you can do is start messing with things like how does the hole Right? How does that hole affect your coffee? How does one giant hole versus one small hole versus three holes versus two holes versus a cylinder versus a cone versus a flat bottom? Then you can start getting into all those things. You don't have to go from Mr. Coffee to understanding a perfect V60, okay? I want to give you permission to not do that. You don't have to do it. You don't have to feel like you have to do it. It's not necessary, okay? Now, if you go anywhere else and I might get some flack for it, I'm okay with that. I don't care. Because this is real life, okay? I'm talking to you person to person, real life. Start with the easy things. Get good coffee. Just try changing your water. If you're using tap water, try using the water from your fridge with a filter on it. Try using a gallon of leftover mineral water or like a, you know, like a filtered water when you went camping, a leftover gallon, whatever. Do those big changes that are gonna have big effects on your cup, right? Try not using your hot plate. That's gonna be a big one. And, and then go from there, okay? Then think about getting a fresh grind, a grinder to grind fresh. And then think about time, temperature, all of that fun stuff, right? It's important to make a great cup of coffee, but you can make huge steps before having to get there or before having to invest a bunch of money in scales and brewers and this and that and everything else that people tell you gotta do. So what I'm saying is that it's totally okay for your coffee equipment to be a progression for you to grow through this, okay? Don't feel like when we're talking or if you came to our pop-up and we're brewing uh, manual single cups and doing all of this crazy stuff, that's for us because we're at this level. If you're not at this level yet, that's okay. It's, we're all at different places. Um, you're paying me at the pop-up, right? For a cup of coffee, you're giving me 275 for this cup of coffee. And so I'm putting in this extra effort because you're paying me for that effort, right? If you're just buying the cup of coffee and you're doing it yourself, then you do the effort that you're doing, right? But my opinion, if you're gonna pay me to do this, I'm gonna do it right, okay? So that's why we spent all that extra time brewing cups and doing the things that we did. So don't feel like you have to do that. Start here, get a little better, get a little better, get a little better. First thing, always start with your coffee. You gotta use good, fresh coffee, okay? We can help you with that. Hit me up, let me know. Okay, so with that, uh, tell me about your journey. I wanna hear about your coffee journey. How have you gone? Where are you at in your coffee journey? Uh, are you still going? Did you say, no, this is a good spot for me. Where did that, where's that point ending? Let me know in the comments, hit me up. Tell me about your coffee journey. I want to hear it. I want to talk to you about it. Look forward to talking to you. I do.